Hey, what's going on? This is Justin here, back with another video, continuing the journey of transforming my powder room into a Donald Duck themed bathroom that people can um, enjoy peeing and pooping in. <laughs> a while ago, I did a time lapse of building this, this Donald Duck brick heads. It's a little dusty. And I put this in my bathroom and then I had a collection of Funkos and little trinkets and toys that I originally had just on the counter space. Since then, I have gotten um, some shelves and I shot this. What is going on, party people? I wanted to show you my bathroom before we leave for our trip. It's Donald Duck themed, and I have some space here for some other stuff, and we're going to California. And I got some walls here um, that are in need of Donald Duck materials. So let's see what we can find while we're out there in sunny San Diego. So when I came back from um, D downtown Disney, and our trip to San Diego, I didn't really find a whole lot of Donald Duck centric stuff. And that was kind of disappointing. I was like, ooh, at least if I go to, we didn't go to Disney proper. And in my wildest imaginations, I was thinking like, oh, I'll come home with a Donald Duck soap dispenser and a Donald Duck like um, giant poster I could hand, uh, hang on one of the bare walls there. And really I didn't end up with anything. Um, they had this thing there called a Numio, which is like new brand of plushies. First they had the Sum Sums, and then they had these things called Numios. You could like style them and like give them clothes. It's really weird. <laughs> I was like, oh, perfect. I'll get like the Donald Duck one. And I was like, let me look for one of those. And I talked to the guy and they're like, yeah, that one's a hot item. Like it's sold out. And I was like, what? Why is like, what? So... I thought that was kind of strange. And then I went to the Lego store there and I was looking for like a little Donald Duck minifig. And yeah, the like the ones on the keychains and those sold out too. They're like, yeah, we don't have any more of those. And I was like, why is, there, is everyone making a Donald Duck themed bathroom? And I'm just late to the party. But uh, that was not the case. I did still pick some, pick up some things. One of the things I got was this hand sanitizer. Um thing. <laughs> what is this called? It's really, yeah, it's like a keychain hand sanitizer, which I'll put on the shelf. I thought that was kind of cool. And you know, we need more hand sanitizer nowadays. So I thought that was kind of fun to, to kind of prop on there. And while I was at the Lego store, they did have, and they recently released it, a, a Daisy Duck brick heads. So that will be a nice companion piece. Oh, look at them together, standing side by side. So yes, it is very Donald Duck centric, but I do have some Daisy items in there as well. I don't actually think these are gonna go into the bathroom. Maybe if I decide to expand on the theme a bit more, but I couldn't pass this up. They had a whole set of Uncle Scrooge and the nephews from DuckTales. Now look how cool this is. I don't know if I'll display it, but I'm gonna keep it because I love DuckTales so much and I couldn't pass it up. And then I went to the Wonder Gallery that was there, or I should say the Wonder Ground Gallery, and they had these really nice postcards drawn by Yoo Jung Jun Kim. I hope I said that right. But I thought these would make really lovely additions to the wall. So I'm going to hang these up in addition to my Max Bear original art that I, I showcased uh, on my last Con Life video. And those were the only things that I got while I was in San Diego. If we had enough time to go to, you know, actually go to Disney, I probably would have got more stuff. But... Mm -hmm. This, that was all the things I got. When I came back, I was like, I had this fever to like really get this bathroom, you know, kind of put it together. And I even thought about maybe I should paint something in there myself. 
but um, I haven't really committed to that yet. Um, but I went to a convention uh, not too long ago, and I found the minifigs. Now, granted, if you look at them really closely, they're not the right colors, and I think these minifigs came from a specialty Halloween set. You can see, like, he's got, like, spider webs, and she's got, like, a bat on her back. So, I got my minifigs. I thought this would be fun to, to have is a Pez dispenser. So I'm gonna put that on the shelf as well. And then I found this online. This is a, <laughs> it's a wall decal. It actually comes with nine different pieces here and some extra stuff here. Um, so I'm gonna slap this on the wall. Oh, it's 37 inches by 39 inches altogether. So that's pretty big. And I was thinking of putting it uh, like in the corner. Um, so when you close the door, it's like, it's like a hidden thing. So when you close the door to poop, there, <laughs> there's Donald Duck looking at you. Um, so I can't wait to open this up and put that on there. And then the last thing I got uh, at my comic shop, they had these retro comics. And I already have one in there now. I thought it'd be fun to add another one. So there you go. These are all the things that I am going to put in my Donald Duck bathroom. I'm still trying to find Donald Duck wall stuff, but I'm gonna go show you what how it looks so far. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be, the, <laughs> that'll be the end of this weird video where I'm like, look at my bathroom. <laughs> put the hand sanitizer guy here so people can grab it on the end. I put the Daisy and Donald minifigs here. The daisy brick heads will go here. Um, and then, you know, I got some duck themed things that are not necessarily Donald Duck, but I thought they would make a really good addition to the bathroom. Soap dispenser here and a bar soap thing here. And then, see, I have all this wall space, so I gotta figure out what I wanna do with it. But I figured the uh, wall decals will go here so when they close the door they'll see like a giant Donald Duck staring at them. <laughs> uh, this is really cool this was um, from the Volo Museum uh, the car museum in Volo Illinois and it's like the original Moldorama that they had in the old Disney parks so this was fun uh, a fun find and then um, this was like a recently released figure with like the Hawaiian theme, which I thought was cool. But yeah, so this this area is coming along nicely. I just got to figure out what to do here. But uh, I'll keep you posted. So thanks for tuning into this video. And we'll see you on the next.